So to start off this breakdown, we're going to look at these passes that are off target that completely eliminate a shot attempt whatsoever and kind of the result of those possessions. So here you see Jeremy Grant's open, Killian Hayes makes the right read, but watch where this pass is. It's not in the shooting pocket, it's up here above Jeremy Grant's head, and because of that he's not able to get the shot off, the defender's able to close out, and now instead of a wide open catch and shoot three, we get Jeremy on the move having to take that pull up jumper contested. Here again, we're going to see one, a pass over Josh Jackson's head. Like Josh Jackson has to leave the floor just to catch this one instead of one right in his shooting pocket. So instead of him able to catch and possibly shoot this or really make the defender close out on this one, I think it's more he can't even make the defender really respect a shot fake. As you see, Halliburton's down in a stance ready to defend. JJ can't even get him to move with a shot fake. Now he doesn't create an advantage off that catch and it ends up in a turnover. So that's one where maybe it wasn't a shot, but Josh Jackson gets a better advantage on the closeout being able to use a shot fake and the pass is so far off he's not even able to do that and then here again it ends up in a turnover Corey Joseph makes the right read but he doesn't even come close to putting the pass to either one of these guys and it ends up in a turnover you can see how these things are just disrupting flow and rhythm of the offense as well and then here Saban Lee he makes the right read he draws attention Luca Garza is open if he puts this pass on Luca Garza's hands in his shooting pocket this is a catch and a shot but not only does Luca not get to shoot it now there's no flow or rhythm either as he has to catch and hold it he can't even make a one more pass or drive it or anything so it's not just about not getting the shot off it's also about the flow and the rhythm of the offense that is disrupted every time we throw an off target pass now on this one or now we're going to look at making shots more contested because they're off target again Grant makes the right read but watch how far off this pass is Sadiq Bey has to you know it's almost out of bounds he does a good job saving it to keep it inbounds right now if this pass is on target the shot has already left his hands but instead as he is able to secure it the defense is there now is there now and is able to contest that one and it ends up in a miss as we go to the next one, same thing. Killian Hayes, wide open on this. Sadiq Bey just has to put it on the money. Instead, it's all the way over here. Puts Killian Hayes off balance. He should already be shooting this shot with no contest. Instead, he's off balance. And as we know, like this is a Killian Hayes thing as well. But now it puts him off balance a little bit. He's going to go to that little leg kick right here. And the shot is contested. So we went from a wide open catch and shoot on balance to almost an off balance shot from Killian Hayes. And it's contested. A a huge difference in that situation and then even here on a on a bucket that is made by Saban Lee this is an a pass that is off. This is the wrong pass from Josh Jackson. Go ahead and just lob this up. It doesn't have to be a highlight dunk. That's not what I'm saying. But he zings this. You can see Saban Lee's, you know, not anticipating that type of pass. This is an off-target pass, in my opinion. It should have been up at the rim where Saban Lee can just rise up, catch, and finish, whether it's a highlight dunk or not. But not a chest-to-chest -chest pass that almost takes his head off. Saban Lee's able to secure it and finish, but that made it a way tougher finish than what it should have been for Saban Lee. And then one more right here for Rodney Magruder. Again, a great read by Saban Lee, but look where the pass is. Rodney Magruder's having to catch all the way over on the left side of his body, outside of his body. And I'll show you one that's on target starting in the next pass. But here, and this is partly Magruder's fault for taking so long to get set, but because the pass was off so much, it takes him some time to get his feet back underneath him and on balance. Now we're going to start with the positive. This is the, what I want it to look like. Watch this pass here. Boom. Right in Sadiq Bay's shooting pocket. So now he can catch and shoot. He can pass. He can shot fake. On this one, he decides to give a little pass fake. One step, and the flow of that is just so much different, and you see the result on that one. One more here off of miss. Luka Garza rebound. Cade Cunningham. One more pass. Boom. Right into Frank Jackson's shooting pocket. He catches. Is able to go right into his shot. Even as Bagley's already closing out and he just you see how smooth and rhythmic that shot is from Frank Jackson right there. And those are the types of passes we have to see more from this team to help get the offense going.